Really good question around uh, training up the workforce. You know, in most of the states, they've really started to actually focus on the end user, right? So all the municipalities and all those people that are really touching those state voter roles every day, they're training those people up to look at phishing. You know, pay attention to these emails, you may be caught in a spear phishing attempt. But more importantly, we see states actually taking a more robust training effort around application developers to try to train them what are the application vulnerabilities. So if somebody does get in and compromises an application, they don't actually get access to the state voter registration databases, for example. So training on application developers is one. The other one is they're training up their security staff and they're training up their network and server staff in order to figure out what the best security posture is. And that really is a really a focus on something called least privileges. And so they're putting wrappers around those critical applications like state voter registration, Canvas, which is kind of the certifying elections, and uh, election ballot management, things like that. They're isolating those applications from the rest of their environments inside their data center. So if an attack does come, it has limited capability to tra traverse laterally inside the data center. So training from end user to the server admins, to the network people, to the security people, all around how to improve security, security operations.